Welcome back. Dwayne Skip Threen is one of the legends of Rockford High School basketball. Later this month, he'll be inducted into the District 205 Athletics Hall of Fame. Thoreen carried the East Rabs to the state tournament and later starred for the Fighting Illini. He reflected on those great days with me in a phone interview from his current home in Louisville, Kentucky. I wasn't what I'd call athletic. I was obviously very tall for the time when I played. Thoreen says he was six feet eight when he played for the East Rabs in the late 50s and early 60s. I was pretty agile, pretty quick because I was very thin at the time as I was kind of growing into myself, if you will. What a player he was. He earned honorable mention All-State as a sophomore and All-State honors again as a junior and a senior. When he graduated in 1961, he was East all-time leading scorer with more than 1,300 points. The hook shot was his specialty. I could shoot it with either hand, and the reason I developed that is because that I was getting it blocked a lot uh, in high school, and so I went to that shot because it was unblockable. His senior season, Thoreen led East to the state tournament. The Rabs lost there in the quarterfinals to the eventual state champion, Collinsville. Well, I remember um, that it was a hard-fought game, and, and they full-court pressed us. I remember that, and we really had no uh, ability to be able to break the press. We, and that was really, the, I think, the reason we lost. And I can remember sitting in the, in the locker room and, and just crying uh, after that loss. It was that emotional for us. Thorin says he wasn't really interested in basketball until his freshman year. Basically, um, I, I really didn't like basketball, but and they, when I was at, at Lincoln Junior High, the, uh, the coach, John Costello, he was actually the assistant coach, but he's the one that kept in the hallways, kept saying, you need to come out and play basketball, you need to come out and play. And, and I, so in ninth grade, I went out and played for the first time. And, um, and I was pretty clumsy and awkward, and I really didn't... Um, like the game a lot. Fortunately for East fans, that soon changed. The big mystery with Thoreen is where he got his size from. My mom was 5'8", my father was 5'10". My paternal uh, grandfather had um, some height. He was about six feet. Um, but my, mo my mother's uh, mother was 4'11". I don't know. It's, it's a mystery. When his days at East were over, Thoreen played for the Fighting Illini, and he became a star with them, too. He was the team's MVP his junior and senior years when he averaged more than 20 points and 14 rebounds a game. He set the school's single-season rebound record. In one memorable game at UCLA, he pulled down an Illini record 24 rebounds. Oh, I still remember the game. In fact, uh, in fact I fouled out of that game. In fact, that was when Goodrich and, and, and Walt Hazard played on that team. And the head coach of UCLA was the legendary John Wooden, who actually complimented Thoreen on his performance after the game. He did. Yeah, in fact, he said, I wished I would have recruited you coming out of high school. Um, and, and I said, yeah, I wished you did too. Thoreen's next step was pro basketball. In 1965, he was drafted by the NBA's Baltimore Bullets, currently the Washington Wizards. He was taken in the fourth round, but he didn't sign with them. I understand that... The NBA had 12 teams at the time. Today they have 30 teams. So if you weren't drafted in the first or second um, position in the first round, the chances of you playing in the NBA, there's not many opportunities for a ball player to play in the NBA. Shortly after that, he got a phone call from a pro team in Italy. He played there for two seasons. Then he came back to the States to play in the American Basketball Association, or ABA. That league produced stars like Julia Serving, Rick Barry, George Gervin, and Moses Malone. Thoreen played one season with the Minneapolis Muskies and two seasons with the Miami Floridians. He averaged 13 points and 11 rebounds in his ABA career. One season, he finished second in the league in rebounding, and he was an all-star. It was very enjoyable, um, you know, to be able to play at, at that level. To me, it was uh, kind of the, the finality of my, of my career, but it was kind of shortened because when I ended up getting injured uh, in the third year, uh, I came down on someone's foot, twisted my knee, and at that time they didn't do arthroscopic surgery as they do today. Uh, had they done that, I would have been able to continue playing, but because they didn't, uh, I, I was kind of had to come back to Rockford and go to work for a living. 
It's been 58 years since Thoreen set his career scoring record. It wasn't until this season that the record fell. Kearney senior Chris Burnell broke it. Thoreen never imagined that the record would last so long. Oh, I had no idea. Even though he's lived in Louisville most of his adult life, Thoreen says Rockford has a soft spot in his heart. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, we, you know, it's my home and I, you know, love the, uh, it's changed dramatically as, as we all know, but, you know, it's one of those things that everything changes, but uh, it definitely is a, uh, uh, a wonderful place to live. I really enjoyed that conversation with Skip. And the other thing I asked him was how he got the nickname of Skip. And he told me his dad gave it to him because when Thoreen was an infant, he often was dressed in a little uh, Navy sailor's outfit, and his dad thought he looked like a skipper. Such a sweet story, and he still holds some records at Illinois, right? Yeah, he does. Uh, he holds the marks for the most rebounds in the game, the most rebounds in a season, and the top rebounding average in a season. So that's pretty amazing that after all these years, he still holds all of those records. Well, by the way, the Champions Bowl and Athletic Hall of Fame induction ceremony will be held Saturday, February 23rd. It'll be at the Radisson Hotel and Conference Center in Rockford. You can find more information at the Rockford Public Schools 205 website.